Alright, so you start by being logged in. You're going to see under My Courses. You can either search for your course right in here, or it's automatically added. So as you can see, LaCosta is already in my account. Click on LaCosta. It's going to give you the silhouettes of each green. So there's two ways of setting hole locations. The first way is by manually inputting them by selecting the pencil icon, and you'll see the grid. From there, what you're going to do is input the paces on and whichever side is closest, either the left or right. And this is after you've identified identified your hole locations by scouting them and getting them uh, preset in advance. Uh, the next step, let's say 12 on, 5 left. If you want a center hole location, you're going to do 0, 0. Let's say you went in, did all 18 holes. What you're going to do is you're going to save these hole locations as a template that are going to be in this drop down. You're going to say save, save as new template, member guest round one, for example. So now that is saved, and you'll see now it has the whole locations identified as member guest round one. If I click right here, you'll notice I've created some other templates. The second way of creating whole locations is by clicking on the zoom function underneath each green. You click zoom and from there it's going to load in a heat map of each green. The heat map corresponds to the scale below. Generally you're not going to want to put a whole location anywhere above 4% which is indicated in red, orange, or pink. Right here, you can then drag the whole location to where you want it to be. Right here, I'm putting it in a blue, fairly flat spot. From there, I'm gonna move on to the next green. Put it up here, make it a little more challenging. On to the next green. Let's say I did that for all 18. I'm going to hit close. You'll notice I've only changed three holes, so it's in red. I'm then going to hit save. Save as new template again. Remember, guest day two. So now I've shown you how to create hole locations using the manual input function along with using our slope heat map function. The next step is printing sheets. So what you're going to do now, you're going to hit the printer icon. And our newest format is called basic pin sheet new format. From this drop down, that's where you're going to select the design, the style of sheet. So right here, you can use this basic pin sheet new format. Whatever you want to appear on the top left as the course name is what's going to appear right here. It'll default to what's in our system. So you can always change that if the course had a course name change or if you just want to kind of abbreviate the course, you can do that. Title, that's what's ever going to appear, uh, what is going to appear on the top. For this purpose, I'm going to put NCAA championship footer text that's what's going to appear at the bottom of the sheet a lot of times our partners like putting a rules official number in there column a that's going to be a vertical column between uh, the first one through six and seven through twelve holes so for as an example i put round one column b is going to be the next column i put the date this is another feature. So whenever you have a logo that's added into your account, you can add that logo to the top right of the sheet. So as you can see, I loaded in add pin sheet logo. And now that logo is now going to be set to load into the generated PDF. The next step is you want to input the whole locations into that sheet. So I'm going to input NCAA championship final round. I'm going to click the check mark, and now you'll see that that set of whole locations is now going to be loaded into the sheet. From there, I'm going to hit print to PDF, 
and you'll notice that it's taking me from the pin sheet tab to PDFs. Depending on the level of detail of the sheet, it takes about one minute, maximum 10 minutes if there's elevation data or color on the sheet. So you'll notice right here, basic pin sheet, new format. I already had a sheet that I downloaded or generated. I'm going to download it now and show you what that looks like. So as you can see, you have a nice clean sheet. The green depth paces on left and right. You have the anchor points. This is where you're going to pace off the whole locations from. And right here you'll see there's your default logo that's now getting added into that sheet.